Okay, guys, for our meal prep, I'm just going to get started with what we're having for dinner tonight. I have no idea what this is. I had it in the freezer, and it was some kind of barbecue. It could be just barbecue pork or something like that, because um, I had it in the freezer, and it's not the it's not the pulled pork we had the other night, but I had this in the freezer, and I didn't label it, so I just put it on, threw it on top of the stove. Added some cauliflower rice to it, some butter, some seasonings, and that's what we're going to have. Along with the biscuits that look like they're done now. So let me pull the biscuits out of the oven. We're going to have some of these, um, I put garlic and cheddar cheese in it. So we're going to have cheddar bay biscuits. So yeah, that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. And then we'll be back with our meal prep for the rest of the week. Okay, guys, here is our meal prep this week. I have some chicken tenderloins that I am going to do something with. I'm not sure. I've got chicken tenderloins up on the recipe. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. I've got some ground beef thawed out that's going to go in the taco soup. We have got chicken thighs that I'm going to make a dish with and some, that's coffee because it was in the sink, um, coffee grounds. Anyway, that is chicken breast that I'm going to cut up and flatten out and put some cream cheese and bacon bits on to flavor that up and that's going to be for dinner tomorrow night. And then I have some sausage out here that's thawed out that I'm about to start cooking here in just a couple of minutes. So, let's get started. Okay, guys, we're going to get started with this food prep. I'm going to start some ground, um, sorry, some sausage. Then I'm going to start and cook the whole package for the egg bake that I'm going to have. So, we're going to put that in the pan here. And start that up cooking and then I'm going to set up I'm gonna get my handy dandy spatulator out here in a minute but I'm gonna get my instapot out that I'm going to brown the ground beef in in order to fix the taco soup I can manage to get plugged in, that is. All right. Get that on saute. And then the ground beef. And there you go with that. I have, I am blessed enough. I have two spatulators. So there we are. Two spatulators. So I'm going to start with the and sausage. sausage that I'm going to start cooking. I'm just kind of let that start heating up. And I'm going to put this on saute. So I'm going to pick this up. This is not enough ground beef. I have some that I've already cooked that I didn't set out to thaw. But I've kind of got the, because it's in a pan, I've got it baking in the oven a little bit to try to loosen it up from the um, dish that it's in in order to put it in here with this to get the taco soup going. So when I do that, I'm going to put in a couple of cans of diced tomatoes and green chilies because I did not buy any cans of green chilies this week. But I did have some of these, so I'm going to put two cans of that in. Um, my handy dandy taco seasoning mix that I made. And I'm not sure what else. Obviously some water since it is a taco soup, but I usually, I mean, used to put like a can of hominy in there and some beans and that kind of stuff to stretch it out, but, um, and I don't have any chorizo because I used that up already, so this is going to be kind of a lean taco soup, but it's going to be a taco soup. So, stay tuned and we will come back with the next prep. Okay, one thing I actually cannot stand is the feel of meat in my hand, so guess what? I'm going to take one hand here, and look how big that chicken is. This was the chicken breast that I got at Aldi's. Makes you wonder what they were feeding us. But I'm going to take my other hand, and I'm going to cut this in half. And when I do that, then I'm going to take the gloves off. I'm going to go get my cream cheese, and I'm going to start spreading that. I'm going to go ahead and cut both of them. There was two in here. And look how big that is. Then I'm going to pound them out, and I'm going to I'm going to flatten them out with a pounder. 
And then I'm going to cut them with cream cheese and bacon and all sorts of wonderful stuff. And that will be, and I'll set that up for our dinner tomorrow. So all I have to do is just stick it in the oven. And yeah. So this hand is still clean. I'm going to put the knife in the sink and then reach over here and get my handy trusty mallet. If I can find my handy trusty mallet. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to pound these out. Okay, the ground beef, the uh, sausage is done. We're going to take that off the eye and try not to burn ourselves while we're doing it. The ground beef is overdone. I'm going to check on what we've got in here. I think that's... Nope, that's sausage. That's not ground beef. Yeah. We're going to have to come up with another alternative for Tuesday night. I'll save this for a bit. There is not enough. There's only a half a pound. So that's going to be enough of it. So I have brats in there. So guess what? The guys will be having brats for dinner. And I'll have to figure out something else with that sausage. But in the meantime, let us continue on. Oh, I don't know if I recorded this or not, but here is... The first dinner for tomorrow night. There's a chicken with cream cheese and bacon rolled up. Okay, guys, the chicken thighs and the so I need to clean my oven. And the chicken tenders are in the oven. They're going to be baking. And I'm about to make the egg bake for Thursday night, I think. Yeah, Thursday. Okay, guys, we are going to continue our meal prep today. Sorry it is so late, but it has just been absolutely crazy. Um, Sunday, I just I just couldn't get everything done, and then I ran out of ingredients. Didn't realize I was out of eggs. And uh, yesterday, I went and got eggs. And but yesterday was so crazy with church in the morning, and then I have a discipleship class that started last night at church. So. It was just kind of crazy. I didn't get everything done. Plus, it's the last day of the month, and I have one client that I take the last day of the month, and I help her get all of her orders in before midnight, her time. So, I was up until 2 o'clock in the morning. As you've seen from my previous video, I was up until 2 o'clock in the morning working with her and helping her get her orders in. Um, between Literally, between midnight and 1 a.m., I got four or five orders in. I can't remember how many. But, at any rate, we're going to continue with meal prep. I'm going to prep... I have no idea the taco soup didn't work out because I didn't have enough ground beef and I don't have enough budget today to go get some more ground beef so we're going to come up with alternatives. I have plenty of stuff in the freezer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chicken thighs and I'm going to prep those for tonight's dinner and then get the egg bake ready to go so stay tuned. Okay, this cheese is shredded and I'm going to apply a layer of cheese on top of my egg bake. And it's going to be so good, but I won't be having it because that day, we're having it Thursday and that's damn fasting. But I'm not, a, you know, I'm not a big egg and sausage bake fan. I like egg and bacon. I like an egg bake. I'm going to try some of Erica's recipes with the peanut butter loaf and stuff like that, but I'm going to try that later. Um, not today because I've got a busy day. I gotta take my mom to the doctor again today. So so that is done. Now we're gonna take the get this out of the way. That is done. Now we're gonna take the chicken that I cooked the other night, the chicken thighs. And I'm just gonna put these in a casserole dish. This is probably, I think, I think what we're going to have for dinner tonight, um, instead of the tacos. This was scheduled for Friday night, but sometimes you have to be flexible. So I think of what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, um, hamburgers Friday night. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have hamburgers Friday night, so I'll pick some up Thursday on payday. I think I'm going to start doing my meal, um, well, I'm thinking, I got to think. If I can manage to do meal preps on Thursdays, I'm not sure I can do that. But in, at any rate, I'm just going to, I don't know. I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. I'll figure it out. But anyway, i got to break this chicken up a little bit more. I'm going to make a casserole with it. I saw Jess from Journey to Health on her meal prep video doing this. I thought, oh, this is what I can do with this chicken thighs because I had no idea what I was going to do with them. 
um, didn't find any really res any recipes that I had all the ingredients for, but I've got all the ingredients for, for what she did last night. She just made a casserole out of her, her chicken with some barbecue sauce and cheese. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break up this chicken. Nice thing about it is it can be in nice big chunks. Yeah, I'm going to have to wash my hands after this because this is so greasy. This is going to be in nice big chunks. And we'll just be able to get it out with a spoon. And I'm just going to put some barbecue sauce on there. I've got alternative sweets. And I, that's my favorite. So I love that. And um, put some on top of that. And then some cheese on top of that. So, and that will be our dinner. This will be our dinner tonight. Then I'll have to have my husband put it in the oven just in case I'm not back from <clears throat> my mom's doctor's appointment in time enough to put this in the oven. So all I'll have to do is stick it in a 350 oven for about 30 minutes. Probably need a bigger casserole dish. Let me wash my hands for a second. Nope, this will have to do the bigger casserole dishes in the oven. I need to make this up now because I still need to get some computer work done. So I'm just going to spread this barbecue sauce over here. This is probably the last I have of this jar. Good thing is I just got another jar in because I had this on my subscription order at uh, on Amazon. So in order to pay a little bit less and then I use my gift cards that I earn from all of my other shops. So, hang on a second. Anyway, I have uh, several things on subscription at Amazon. You find a lot of my favorite stuff on Amazon below. I still have to add some more stuff to it. I have to add this. If you're wondering what it is, it's Alterna Sweet. Sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. Now, if I can just get the tab off and get it open, we'll finish up this. There we go. Now it's flowing. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to spread that over. Have some barbecue chicken. And we're going to spread some cheese on top of that. Freshly grated. Real cheese with no additives, no potato starches, no fillers to keep it from clumping because, as you can see, it's clumping. And then put the rest of this stuff in the refrigerator because we love our... This is our Colby Jack cheese. This is our favorite. So put some of that on top. Try not to make a big mess which I'm really good at anyway. Yeah. Mm, that's good. It's good. All right, let me get everything out and show you what I have prepped for the week. If I can manage to get the lid back on this thing. There we go. So, oh, let's let you guys fall over. Hang on just a minute. Okay, guys, this is our meal prep for the rest of the week. Sorry, there's only three things. I've already shown you what we had for dinner Monday night. This is going to be for dinner tonight. That's going to be the uh, barbecue uh, chicken casserole. We've got egg bake for Thursday night. And for Wednesday night, we have the chicken tenders, which are now frozen. So I'm going to stick this in the freezer, this in the freezer, and that in the refrigerator for tonight's dinner. So that is... Oh, let me go turn this around. Okay, guys, that's my meal prep for the week. This has completely been an off week for me. I'm going to work. I'm planning better for next week. So, there she is. I'm so sorry this is late, but it's just been a crazy week. I've been doing uh, uh, some several filming. I've got my... Um, actually, it should have already gone up. Um, it should post um, around noon today. Your uh, mountain time, I think. Anyway, probably around 2 o'clock my time. And that will be the... Drop biscuits for the recipe video, and those were absolutely delicious. There are none left. My son came back down and took the two more that, of the three that was left after dinner, and then he left me one. So, and I ate it because it was good, and I love biscuits. But that's my meal prep for this week. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.
Toodles.